Good evening. Welcome to E-Mini Futures by Sell.com. This is Bala Subramanian Iyer welcoming you on 26th of October 2017. I want to share with you in this video some of the trades that we recently called and what kind of processes we adopted while calling the trade. The first trade was AUD USD, which is Australian dollar US dollar. We gave a short signal to our clients. At the moment, we are communicating our signals through Excel uh, and then through email, but we'll be sending signals through WhatsApp. So you can get the signals on your mobile phone uh, starting from next week. So anyway, on 24th of August, sorry, uh, September, uh, October, 8.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we gave AUD USD short. When we say go short, it means you enter at market. Okay, or you can enter with limit orders. We also teach you or train you how to build a position. So once you become a client, you will get some training. Uh, then we give the stop loss on the target. You can check the AUD USD chart. We had a big fall in the market. So if you had gone short on 24th, that was a big uh, winner. The next is the New Zealand JPY. Client of mine had asked me on 24th, like is it New Zealand JPY sell is still on and yeah, we said yes so that was a big winner but the really big one that I want to talk about is a USD CAD buy and the Euro USD short USD CAD buy that is like shorting the Canadian dollar on 20, 22nd of October on the weekend that is before the week started this week <coughs> I sent out an email to all my clients this was the trade of the week that I had, we had identified big opportunity awaiting 21st of October and we said that where is the opportunity it said go long USD CAD and that was a humongous winner if you know if you have been trading the currencies you will see that USD CAD buy was a huge winner this week and you know we spotted it on the weekend itself when we gave a buy signal. Now, here I'm going to go slightly uh, uh, with a segue to how we identify these trades. So, if you uh, look at the uh, charts and if you're trading off the charts and by applying technical analysis and by looking at the chart and then you try to find a trade, I can guarantee in the long run you will lose money. The weightage you should give to charts and technical analysis in your decision making process should only be 10 percent now this may come as a shock to you let me repeat if you are trading off the charts you will lose money guaranteed now why is that the reason and it's important to understand the logic the logic is charts are reflecting what happened in the past a chart can never tell you what is going to happen in the future because obviously the future is yet to happen like what is going to happen tomorrow nobody knows right the candles are yet to be plotted so no matter how much analysis you do on a chart these are all events it's bridge uh, uh, river under the bridge you know water under the bridge these events have already happened now what traders do is by looking at the chart they apply various tools and try to extrapolate the past into the future now that is a totally irrational and illogical that is like saying last year Djokovic won the Wimbledon therefore this year also and next year Djokovic will win the Wimbledon or last year so and so uh, last World Cup uh, Germany won the World Cup in soccer so therefore next World Cup uh, Germany will win again you cannot extrapolate the past into the future that's not the correct approach what the best you can say is the past events give you some kind of information to work with it, it has some relevance you can't say it is totally useless information but the weightage you give should not be more than 10 percent so if you're trying to see when you are putting a trade like if you're going long usd cad or you're going short you are actually predicting the future you're trading the future you're not trading the past so by looking at the chart and if you're so 
by analyzing the past and if you trade the future you will go wrong that's not the approach what you need to do is you need to do fundamental analysis you have to analyze us dollar canadian dollar you have to analyze uh, monetary policy minutes you have to read what the central bank uh, you have to understand the central bank monetary policy fiscal policy you have to have deep knowledge of economics finance and p politics and sometimes political events also have a role to play and you must also know how to read between the lines simply um, going to forex factory and reading the news that's not fundamental analysis uh, many uh, novice traders think that oh i went to forex factory i checked the news so i've done my fundamental analysis. that's not fundamental analysis you need to analyze data you have to use some intelligence and interpret data and come up with meaningful conclusions that is analysis that is what will bring you success that's why we beat the rest of the world nobody in the world uh, gave a buy on usd and cad the way we did and that too we gave a buy on the weekend let me let me tell you one more thing euro us dollar short we called a short on euro us dollar on 23rd of october Today is 26th of October and we give a stop loss and everything. Euro US dollar had a massive crash today and we came out, we had big win. All our clients made a lot of money. Now if you look at the Euro US dollar chart yesterday, that is 25th of October and 24th of October, Euro US dollar was going up. Even though on 23rd we said short. Why, why is that? Because the traders in the forex market were buying Euro based on the charts and technical analysis they were not doing the analysis of fundamental analysis so they all lost money today because the euro crash this is the crux of the point i want to tell you and one more thing when like if you we shorted on the 23rd and then the 24th and 25th euro was going up is that a good news or a bad news it is a good news because when a market goes against you and there are dumb traders at the other end who are making the stupid mistake of going long on euro it is giving you an opportunity to add to your short position so our clients and myself included we kept on adding to our short position on 24th of october and 25th of october when euro was going up because the other traders in the market were not understanding what was Draghi going to do? They were blindly buying based on the chart, based on technical analysis. No wonder they lost money today. They were not doing analytical thinking. They were blindly trading off the chart. Now, if if, if now we were adding short to a short position when the market was going up, so we were actually reducing a cost. That's called dollar cost averaging. So if you're short and every time market goes up, you keep on adding to your short position. And then we liquidated all our position today on the big crash in the market today. So we actually made a bigger profit than what it would have otherwise been. We would have made a smaller profit if the market had not gone up. The fact that the euro went up gave us opportunity to add to a short position, reduce our average cost and come out with a bigger profit. And this is only possible because 90% of the forex traders are trading off the charts and they are you trading based on technical analysis supply demand uh, uh, you know support resistance rally base rally drop base drop all this mumbo jumbo that's not how you do analysis okay so no wonder they uh, but their stupidity adds to our bottom line that gave us chance to add to the short at higher and higher prices and we came out as winner the most important thing is you should do logical analysis and that has got to be fundamental analysis analysis is always fundamental charts is always uh, uh, talking about the past the past is not going to help you in the future you need to know how to read a balance sheet how to read an income statement how to analyze uh, monetary policy minutes you need to know what is fiscal policy you need to know what is yield curve you need to know what is inverted yield curve if you don't have these and for this you need to have academic qualification 
you cannot a truck driver and a ballet dancer cannot become a trader if you do not have the necessary academic qualifications you cannot be a good trader that's my view god bless you all and once again we proved you know uh, we called the euro usd short on 23rd october nobody else did okay this is i'm giving you legal proof god bless you all bye for now